YouTube, what's poppin'? It's your boy CG to come at you guys with another Bujigiri match video today. And today, I'm just trying to introduce you guys to the game. I've been playing this game um, a lot over this holiday season. This game is really, really fun, as well as um, frustrating and kind of competitive. So, what this game is essentially, it's a Dragon Ball card game um, where you get a deck of eight cards. And you compete with against another person, AIs, other people, and you know you just compete. And you, um, I think the best way to explain it is just to hop right into it. So we're gonna do a test battle or a test match. And we're going against Bulma here. So this is because this is gonna be an intro video to Butchery Match. I'm gonna be making some Butchery Match videos um, because I play this game and I have some really awesome games and I have. You know some pretty decent decks so this is the um the deck screen like usually when you go to a battle or a match or anything you go to this deck select screen and here it is and here we, go. we have your deck here this is my deck this is the deck i currently use it's an earthling uh it's earthling deck which means like basically earthlings deck center on earthlings and you know it boosts them and makes them stronger as well as, um, as well as, you know, they do a lot of damage. So, I'm really, really excited to introduce you guys to this game, and I hope you all will play it. I will do an installation guide, um, as well. I'm gonna just start from the bare basics. I, first thing you guys should see is the, um, go do the blue summons, then this video, and then I will make how to install Dragon Ball, um, Z Bushigiri match to your mobile device or on if you guys play it's a browser game, so you can play it on browser. Okay, so okay, so here is the screen basically. You get two you get eight cards, but you draw two every time. And it's up to you which card to pick. See the number on top is AR, right? So what AR does it means which um which card um goes first or which one has priority. C three beats two, so I lost. I lost this exchange. So the higher they are, the um, basically the higher they are, the better. Now, as you can see, um, these cards have types: the supporters, bombers, strikers, attackers, and uh, boosters. I think that's all the type. Oh, as well, that's not all the types. So let's let's, let's run back to the typing again. So we have supporter cards, booster cards. Bomber cards, strike cards, attacker cards, jammer cards, defenders, cards, and I think that's it, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's that's it. So each card has a type, um, but those types don't really affect much. But um, color cards also matter. Um, see, there's blue and red, um, but that doesn't that doesn't mean like blue beats red or anything like that. It just means that. Certain cards have certain abilities that are good for blue cards. As you can see, it looks like Bomo's rocking a mono blue deck. Yeah, she's totally rocking a mono blue deck. And they have all us. And you know, every card has an ability. Every single card has an ability. And I think I could win this with, with Vegeta. Just. As you guys can see, we have health. Um, our health goes down every time we lose an exchange. And the goal is to make your opponent. Who's all their health in a nutshell? And this is a victory uh, animation. Usually, when you beat somebody, your uh, character has like a little dialogue, or every time you lose, the opponent's character will give you a dialogue. So, I won this round. This is a relatively easy match. It was a one star match. It's one of the AI matches. I didn't farm them today, so. You know, why not? What's the best way of introducing a Kiri match without some gameplay, right? So that's basically the general gist of combat, to say, and uh, gameplay. It's mostly, um, you know, select the highest card and win. Um, each exchange, you gain a. I don't know if you guys noticed it, but you gained AR. I'll, I'll, I'll show that off in the. Uh, ooh, we got a beer card. I'll show that off in the uh, the next uh, the next game we play. And then I'll talk a little bit about cards, you know, keep, I'm just trying to keep this relatively simple again. This is just an introduction to the game. So we're going to hop into the next AI, um, AI match. You get three AI, three AI matches a day, 
which is pretty good. Um, I had to show you this guys while we were back in the home stream. Um, so on the top left is my rank and uh, my rank in um, competitive play right now. Um, I'm B. I am a two tier uh, B player. Um, my name's in the middle, top middle. Top right, we have the little gold coins, like your Zenny, your money. The currency on the bottom is your summoning currency. You need 3,000 um, summoning, uh, 3,000 currency. I don't know what they call the currency. You need 3,000 currency to summon a multi summon, 300 for a single. Um, on the bottom left, you guys see the, I'm going to tap the Dragon Radar. The Dragon Radar does, if just by playing the game, uh, you get Dragon Balls. Um, so just play every day, and then you get you get summon currency, and you are uh, you. I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna call them uh, you are material. So you get you are material and currency, which means you can use that material. You there's you are sr, um, there's you are sr rare, and normal materials. So you can use that to boost up your cards and stuff. But I'll get into that after. Um, I give you guys a gist of gameplay. So yeah, I just want to keep this really really simple. They use the same deck because it's top tier. Um, it's not top tier. It's just it's really cohesive. I, I beat a lot of people with better decks than me because the cohesiveness of my deck. Because a lot of people just run like strong card, um, uh, strong card beatdowns, and you know this team is built around the strategy. So again, um, so I'm gonna play my two card first, my supporter card, because. Krillin has the ability to give allies plus two, um, I mean plus 100 BP, which is battle points. Which is the number on the bottom of the card. See, I lost that exchange, and you guys noticed that um, Hercule gained a little orb around here. That's AR. So you gain AR by winning um, um, winning um, exchanges. So as you can see, I have a seventh card, so I have a high chance of winning an exchange. So I'm going to win this exchange, do 5,000 damage to him. I have 5,000 BP, which is at the bottom of the card. And boom, on the bottom on the bottom left, I gain AR. See, what you can use that AR to do is add AR to cards, as you guys can see. I'm adding AR, which makes my card stronger. See, a generally good strategy is to build up some AR. So cards that are generally weaker, you can make them stronger. There's certain cards that have AR manipulation where they can get gain AR just, for, just because your enemy has a certain card. Like, um, like I'll show you this, um, this, this five Goku, this, uh, this five AR Gohan can attack up to three times and gains three AR if there's a Frieza Force, um, card on the opponent's side. And it's, it's, it's actually ridiculous. It's, it's OP. <laughs> I, I kid you guys not. It is literally OP. Um, I use that, I use this guy a lot. Um, he's almost maxed out for me. He's really, really strong. And... Like this, I think of because of AR check, his passive activated. He gets plus three AR um, for Freeze of Force and plus one from you know Earthling support. So that card is really really good. He's like a late game sweeper, so I like him a lot. Um, I'm gonna drop down my bomber card, and as you guys can see. Um, Everything's on display. Like every card he uses is on display. Every card I didn't show, and you say saw a uh, Krillin's passive activate. He gave Goku one thousand BP. He had three thousand, but he gave him plus one thousand because of his uh, supporting passive. So we're gonna go with um, this guy. This Gohan. This Gohan's free to play. I mean, he's maxed out card. You get him for free for signing up. And you see that attack? Um, Boo nullified my attack, because that's one of his special abilities. So, like, this game is packed full of abilities and stuff. I don't really know all the abilities and what all cards do as of yet, but, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I play. Um, the best, yeah, the best way to learn this game is by playing. But, again, I'm just introducing you guys to the game. So, yeah, um, this Trunks has a bomber passive where he can just do damage just by being played. That's what bombers do. And... It doesn't count as your main attack. <laughs> the voices are so loud. But yeah, that is, that is basically a Buchigiri match, uh, gameplay-wise. There's more intricacies and stuff like that, as you guys saw when Bajin Buu 
um, nullifying my attack because he has a defender passive. Um, and you know, this game is really really fun, and like I like the layers of, of this game. Um, so I'll go over cards and stuff more. After we do my last, um, our last, um, you know, our last match. So this match, so basically, then I went over all the basics. I'm just gonna, you know, just play like I normally would. Just go through it. I'll use a different setup of units. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. I'll use Frieza Force. It's my Frieza team. I probably shouldn't have used Frieza against Gohan, because Gohan, Gohan cards can beat Frieza cards, but whatever, we'll see if we lose. Um, plus, I'll just show you guys some diversity in decks. I only have three viable decks at the moment. It's Bardock, Team Bardock, the Bardock one, uh, the Frieza one, and that my Earthling deck, which, which is my strongest. I say we should drop King Cold immediately. Again, um, you could go beyond 8 AR, by the way, if you have some AR stacked up on your lower left or upper right, depending on where you are and who you're playing with. And stacking AR is a good thing. And I'm going to get my healers down. Oh, that's the last type I was forgetting. There's healer types. So you can heal. So you can take damage and you can heal in this game, which is really good. Again, as I was just playing, oh, and there's also limit break characters, so characters will transform. There's transforming cards. Mid-gameplay. If I win this, win or lose, I transform regardless. I think this uh, Piccolo gains AR. Um, oh no, he gave him AR, never mind. I thought that was a passive ability, but he just gave Piccolo AR. And it's good now that I my health is down. I can talk to you guys about um, here we go. We're transforming. Um, I can talk to you guys about health and crisis. Like basically, when you're in yellow health, um, certain cards abilities, like passive abilities, activate or second abilities activate because you are in um, you know because you're like in quote unquote crisis mode. So like jammer cards can nullify attacks from higher from higher AR cards. So I want him to play like a 5 or 7 right now, but he doesn't. So my passive is going to backfire on me because what jammer cards do, they break the low card with the lowest AR attack. So that backfired. That backfired big time. But we should be getting some heals from our passive. So I'm going to drop the 7 card. We might clash. We definitely might clash at this point. Yep, we clash. AR check though, so he's adding AR to his units. Wow, he really wants this guy. This guy really wants to win. <laughs> yep, this is the power of boosting. Uh, oh, caution! That's embarrassing. I got an error. <laughs> that's that's funny to have no recording. That's funny. Basically, if you guys ever get that error playing the game, it just means you you, you you just disconnected, which is weird because I shouldn't have. Oh, well, that happened. But I'm gonna finish this off this intro guide talking about summons, rank, and cards. So if I go to my deck here, if I want to customize a deck or make a deck. You can see all the cards you have um, by num by AR number, by color, by type. So basically, you can sort your cards by any means. And if this will load, geez, this game is loading slow today. All right, so like, let's look at um, look at a card. Look at look at this card, like Broly. For a second, let's look at him. Details. So basically, green is details. You can check out the cards details and figure out you know what it does. Like again, um, I I I I I translate as I go. 
I'm thinking about doing a um, a card translation guide. Let me guys know if you're enjoying the game. If you guys are actually down for me to make, it. I'm gonna make it regardless. But um, yeah, yeah, I want to, um, cause you know I know a lot of people don't are too lazy to actually um, translate for themselves. So like, if I can at least give you guys a good starter deck and tell you what they do. Oh, here we go. That took forever, and I don't know why. But yeah, here's the card. So you get the card, and the information. You see this card's level 1. Um, so I can give it more, you see this plus button here? I can give it more power, make it more leveled up, but I need that UR currency. And UR currency is so hard to come by, so I, I haven't spent any of my UR currency. You're better off summoning dupes. So usually what levels get you are are um as you guys can see um levels make you stronger it gives you more hp and more bp so this card will hit a lot lot a lot harder and have a lot more hp if it was a higher level and so here I, i'm glad we can actually do this so as you guys see this little this little symbol here this is a a bp a 500 bp up basically every card gets a 500 bp up and a 500 hp up if you guys meet certain conditions and those conditions are either use the card in battle or make sure you win with this card or get to level seven um these um basically using the card as you guys see i went from 2700 uh bp to 3200 bp so he's a lot stronger now and that's just so doing the so the best way to like make your card stronger even though they're not the highest level is fulfilling those um those BP and HP um, challenges, uh, that's what I'm gonna call them. Cause they really like, they're really up your game. Like it's like, it's a difference between living, like living with like a, few, a little bit of health and coming back and winning as also finishing off your opponent. So it's it's important you guys do that. So as you guys can see, there is, he has a, well not every card has a main ability and a passive. There's some cards with no abilities they're just flat out um, attackers, um, but this card is a booster. So basically, if they're, um, I know this card does because I translated it, but this is all for example purposes. Booster cards, This he's a booster card, a booster card for himself. So if there is a Broly card in your support, in, in your support deck, so let's say I play a Broly card, he has to be the only sand in your, um, in your support deck. And what that means is, not that you need a Broly support card, after you, um, you guys notice, after I played a card, they went on a, they went on a bench basically. So every card you use, win or lose, they go on your bench, and their 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 passives and main abilities can be used on the bench, right? So that's what they mean. So basically, every bench card, like ba like basically a bench card is a supporter card. It supports you, like cards. Some cards passively heal you. Some cards passively do damage to the enemy. Some passively protect you. So. You only need, so the only card, the only sand card you have on your side has to be a Brawly to get that plus 10,000 BP. Brawly is really strong in this game. Um, like, he hits extremely hard. But if you have any other sand, he loses 10,000 BP. So basically, his attack will go to zero. And he also has a um, attacker secondary ability. So if he, when he, if he attacks and he wins the AR um, matchup, as you guys see, like AR, when they do AR checks, and some people add AR, they add their ARs to their uh, units to make them stronger. If they win the AR check, they gain an additional five thousand BP. So he gets a total of fifteen hundred attack once the conditions are met. And all you have to do is play a Brawly Park prior and win an AR check. And he's a eight, he's a level eight card, so he's most likely gonna win. So that's basically um, cards in a nutshell. And I'm you know I'm glad Brawly is a good example of what um, a card is. So, so they both have a pa primary and secondary abilities. Um, some people, are, some of them are passive, some of them aren't. Um, yeah, I, if I wanted to level them up, I use this stuff, but uh, nope, too expensive. Um, I don't have the best Brawly deck yet. I don't have the best Brawly card, so I'm not gonna go all out for a Brawly deck. Uh, so that's basically in a card, and they're all level one through eight. Oh, so I, get, I might as well just talk about uh, rarities real quick. So this blue here is rare the the kind of 
orange, brownish is is normal. Yellow is SR, and then the rainbow is UR, which is the highest rarity in the game. So those are the rarities, as you guys can see. Ooh, I have some pretty decent six um six cards. So like, yeah, you guys can see the rarities. Yeah, that's basically the rarities in the game. I think I went over everything. I think. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna quickly go over. Ah, not summons, but I guess we're doing summons, and then we'll end with PvP, and then we're gonna end this video. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Kind of a longer one because of loading times, but it's okay. I probably um, <laughs> will edit the video, chop it up, and you know, make sure it all works out. But I don't know why Butchikiri is loading so much. But yeah, um, honestly, I'll talk about okay. I'll talk about rank right now. There's two types. There's two types. There's two types of like rank play are player versus player play. There's friendly match and then there's rank play, um, and there's local friendly match too. So. Rank play gives you rank, gives you um, summoning currency, I don't know what to call it. And yeah, that's basically it. So here is the banners, right? So there's a new UI banner, I will be summoning on this banner. Let's test my luck, and there's also a Jiren banner too. So it's like a dual Dokkan fest. But I don't know what they call it in this game. So here's the Jiren banner. So if you look on the banners, you can tap on the banners. You can see the cards, so we have UI Goku. Yeah, he's really good. He do he uh he blocks damage from every every attack over six thousand BP. So basically, a lot of people like to beef up their cards and make them super duper strong and one shot you. And basically, he evades all that. We have Father Son Galley Gun, which is really good. These are all the banner cards. They're all really cool. Um, I think you see rates too. If I did this, I think you see rates. Or maybe not. Yeah, here we go. Rates. Basically, here's the rates of the featured. 0.033% for UR cards. And you get the, I think you can actually see the card too. This should be the blue Kaioken Goku. Oh, no, 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 it's just Kaioken Goku. Yeah, you get to see the cards here and stuff. This is Gogeta, I think. Yep. I'm so glad. I'm so mad. I really want this card, but yeah, they show cards at max stats, the summon rates, and everything. Again, um, I know this game is like all JP. There's not really much translations on it, so you kind of have to like do translating yourself. But again, if this video gets like 20 likes or something like that, I will come out with like a. Uh, a I, I'm gonna do this regardless. I'm gonna come out with the uh, installation guide as well as a. A, uh, a starter like a starter um the best uh, starter team you can use to do well gain some summoning currency and summon on these banners all right guys it's been a longer one so shout out to everybody stay to the end this has been your boy sleepy cheeto signing out peace i'll catch you on the next one